Como si hubiera chi. Sin sani, ¿verdad? Otro gani. ¿Verdad? Y hoy. Oh, hello, guys. So, welcome to the first karate class that we are going to make online. And I know this is not something that we're used to, but as we have been spending a lot of time indoors, we got to make sure that we got our technique covered. We keep working on our conditioning and we still improve on what we have been working on lately. All right. Our technique is very important. So what we will focus on today is going to be our stances and how to do proper technique on from the most basic levels and up. Even advanced students should be able to perform and do this. No problem. And don't feel like you're not being challenged enough. Just try to work hard as we're going to be working during the time of this video. And I promise you, technique is what matters the most. So not necessarily we have to do the most advanced stuff to be able to improve. We have to work from the bottom up. So again, today is going to be very basic. Let's get in here. So let's start with an easy warm up. Let's start circling arms up forward. And back. All right, in and out. One, twos. You can do doubles or you can just in and out like this. I like doubles so my shoulders warm up a little quicker. All right, let's work on the hips. Other side. Okay. Nice. Class over here with me. All right, and stretch <laughs> on one side. Now let's go to the other side. Squat down. Up, reach to toes. And down, up right, to toes. Let's do five more. Yes. A one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, and. Start activating. Let's go for a few jumping jacks. In and out with your feet. You can switch arms or you can just keep your hands up like this. If you want to challenge your coordination, you can get left foot forward, right hand up. Opposite hands working always. Try to challenge your coordination. Big steps, never small step. <laughs> big, big steps. All right, and forward. Again, jumping jacks. And drop squats. Open close. Open close. There we go. Let's do 10 push ups. All right. All right. So we're almost ready with our moving warm up. We're going to do a couple more moves. One, we want the hamstrings to be really, really warm in order for us to pull kicks without getting hurt. So, one that I like a lot is glute bridges, where we can lay down, make sure your heels, can you go to the side please? Make sure your heels are somewhat close to your glutes, hands down and relax, and you're going to press your hips as high as you can. Make sure you squeeze on your glutes, and make sure that you don't let your knees come out like this. Always pressing your knees, now I stand straight up to the ceiling. We're going to do eight. 
And once we're done with those eight, we're going to work on one leg. So, you're going to bring one foot up, try to get the ball of your foot straight to the ceiling, and keep pressing the exact same way. Let's do five and five. So, you're going to feel how you're isolating your hamstring. Leg, keep your heels down the whole time. Do it. And the next one we're going to work on is a single hand deadlift, single leg deadlift, where we're going to try, okay, do our best to keep our body completely straight. Toes straight forward one leg and try to reach with the opposite hand, right hand to left foot, keeping your foot straight on the back and your chest square to the floor like I said before. And then back down up to stand. Okay? See how I'm not turning my chest anywhere? I don't try to reach with my hand. If I can't reach because my hamstrings are tight enough, I'm just gonna keep everything nice and straight. Whenever I make it, is what it is. All right. You can keep your foot up in the air the whole time, even better. We're gonna do five of this ones. turning my hips like I said don't twist keep everything square Oop. keep everything square Now we're done with our basic warm-up. Let's start getting to our techniques. Would you mind getting right in front, please? So, first, we're gonna go to our position here. It's gonna be Hei Sokudachi. If you can get really close to your feet. Hei Sokudachi is when our feet are together, okay? We're not leaving any room in between them. Not on the ankles, not on your toes, not on your heels. Hands are by your side. This is the first stance. Our position is just standing. And we're gonna rotate up here. This is Musubidachi, okay? Our second stance. This is typically a stance that we use to bow, if it looks familiar to you, okay? And now we're gonna go to Sotoachi Hidachi. Sotoachi Hidachi is a standing position. We use it a lot to practice some throws or our standing techniques. Then we're gonna move up to Jigotai, where your feet are slightly wider than your shoulders, or basically at the very edge of the outside of your shoulders, okay? Jigotai is a wide position where if you just bend your knees, we're gonna go to our last or fourth stance. This is Chikodachi, okay? You can move back a little bit now. So in Chikodachi is where we're gonna work on your legs about 45 degree angle. Your knees cannot go past Toledo. Let's try to go over there. So your Knees cannot go past your heels. Make sure that they're right or directly above them. Okay? Not, we don't want this when your feet are far, and we don't want this when your knees are pressing up. Ah, that's bad for your kneecap. Make sure that it's everything angle here, straight here. Back straight, press on your glutes. When we're doing this position, last thing we want is to stick your glute back or out. Okay? Now from here, Everybody should be holding this position all this time that I've been walking, talking. So from here, get one hand out onto your side, and we're gonna do 10 punches, all right? Nice and easy to work, but do not lose your position. Itch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rick. Sit. Hatch. Ku. Yo. Yo. 
So when we're working on our punches, we have to make sure that our hand is aiming directly on the middle of my solar plexus. We don't want to aim up and we don't want to aim to the sides. Every single punch replaces the other punch. Okay? Now, we're going to go back to our Jigo Tai. So we can work on more of our punching. All right? Let's work on our punching now. So, son of a suki. Ready? To the center of the chest. Here. Ready? And itch. Me. Son. Chi. Kim. Explosiveness. Good. Go. Rook. Make sure your elbows don't pop out. Straight, like if you want to slide your ribs with your elbows. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Good. Jump. Good. Now relax. Good. We're going to go to Nidan Suki or two punches, double punch. One hand out, one to your side. We're going to replace the same punch twice. Both times on the exact same spot. Same spot. We don't want to punch side to side, like I said before. Ready? Etch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. And yeah. Relax. Very good. Last time, we're gonna work on Sambon Suki. Sambon Suki as each knee is on. It means for three punches. You're gonna get one hand out, one to our side. Straight, like I said. Every single of these punches is gonna be a straight, long punch. So don't make shortcuts. Don't punch out. Don't punch short. Last thing we wanna do is that. Go. And last thing we want to do is a punch that looks short, short, and big. Every single punch has to be just big and long. Strong punches. Ready? Etch! Me! Sun! Shit! Go! Rock! Sitch! Hatch! Yo, relax, very good. Now, we have been working a lot of on our legs. Next step is going to be how to work on our kicks properly or correctly. Okay, uh, first things first, again, we're gonna work on Jigo Tai. So, both hands up, make sure your hands are sort of lined up with your shoulders. And then your hands go down or on the outside. Elbows always locked in front of your ribs. Ready? So, first thing first, when we do a maigeri, our knee has to match our hip level. Our knee has to be right in front of our hip level. Because when we do this kick, we're aiming right on the hip. Okay, this is not a high kick. This kick has or could have two targets, Jacob. So, when we're doing maigeri, Main target would be right there, hip level, boom, and down. Hip level. It could potentially be your down. But as right now, we're focusing hip level. Okay? Thank you. So, let's work on that position. Back to you go tight. Hands up. Now, knee comes up first. One, work on your balance. Stand. Kick and pull back. Make sure that your toes are up and you're getting the ball of the foot out. All right? Itch. And down. All right? Let's work on the other side. Up. Position. Hold. And knee. And now. All right? Now, on my count, we're going to do the whole movement. Itch. Knee. Work on the pullback so you're gonna feel how your hamstrings are working. That's why we warm them up very well. Sun! Shit! Go! Rook! Sitch! Hatch! Good! And yeah! Very good. Okay, so we already 
done with all the part that involves how to properly kick and punch. Now we're gonna work on one block today. So this block is gonna be Jordan Uke. Jordan Uke is the rising block. As I always say, Jordan Uke is not just rushing or pushing upwards, right? Some other karate styles have the idea of blocking straight up with some strength, but uh, Wado is a very natural movement. Not, Wado is very involved to the circles and moves from Jiu Jitsu. So everything is kind of like brushing away or sliding away, like sweeping most, almost. almost. <clears throat> so the next block, or John okay, care, we're gonna focus on how to rotate our hand properly in front of our face. When we do Jordan okay, our hand comes across. Once we're blocking all the way in front of our face, we're gonna rotate and finish the extension of our arm straight up. So when we do this, the actual block is gonna happen when this turns out. So, when you're blocking, okay, you gotta consider that your real block, Jacob, can you get in here? Do a Junsuki with your right hand, hold it up. Jun, switch your feet, Junsuki. Switch your feet, yes, with that hand. Okay, so when you're punching, okay, we're gonna think that our block is not gonna be this. Like I always explain in class, the shoulder is a leverage. If you guys wanna do something cool with your parents or with somebody that is around you, just look at this. If you do this and this person tries to hold the punch down and I do this upwards, hold it, I'm not gonna be able to push this up. Because I, like I said, my shoulder is a leverage, I would not be able to resist. So against a strong punch that comes in, we're not gonna be able to just brush it or push it up. So what we're gonna work on, hold the punch up please, is work on this and turn the hand at the very end as your elbow does that slight motion here. All right, as we work on that, remember, arm has to be inclined, like very inclined or very straight upwards almost. So even if the punch is trying to slide down or come down, it's gonna slide away. So let's work on our jawline, okay? Keeping this in mind, protecting your face across, popping the elbow out, all right? Hands by your side, and starting with your right hand. Itch. Me, son, she, go, rook, switch, hatch, cut, jab, yoy. Now let's move to our next step, senkutsu dachi, or how to do a proper front stance. No, or how to do a proper front stance. Everybody go to musubi dachi here. So from your musubi dachi, we're gonna step forward with our left leg to do a front punch here. Now, Senkutsu Lachi should be as tense where you're not crossing your feet. If you pay attention to my feet, please. Sorry. Please, thank you, on the way here. So if you pay attention to my feet, there is something that is very important. If I bring my knee down, like I said before, from Senkutsu Lachi, step forward, bring my knee straight down, there should be one fist <laughs> of distance here. Can you get on my feet close, please? So my feet have to be here. One fist of distance between heel and knee, right there. And if you come to the front, please. Two fists width of width. So my hands show the line how wide are, is my stance gonna be. This will give you a very appropriate dimension of how your legs should look like once you stand up and get your heel back down, all right? That's a proper Senkutsu Dachi. That way we don't come too wide, too long, or too short, okay? So, hand out. We're gonna do 10 punches holding a proper Senkutsu Dachi. Make sure your knee, like I said before, do not go past your foot, but right above it. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Shi. Back and same. Switch your stance and switch your hand. Position, knees, sorry, toes and knees completely straight. Back foot like if it was Matsubidachi. Toes back on angle, trying to point forward. Ready? And to the center of your chest, every punch. Etch. Knee. Sun. Back. From Musubidachi, we can also 
work on our kicks. So the next one is going to be Mai again. Back on Senkutsulachi, Kamekamai. Like I said, if you can get a line somehow, or you start on Musubidachi, get your foot straight up without bringing it across. Tie it up with your shoulder, keep the width. From here, we're gonna do my Getty, bring it back down. Remember, our hamstring should be nice and warm. So work on that, pull back quick. Get the ball of your foot out forward, ready? And one more thing, hand comes up at the same time that your knee comes up together. Okay, ready? Itch. Knee. Some. Shit. Now, if you have room and you have the possibility to work on your basics and keep working on, let me move back one, work on my getty, moving forward, switching your stance every single time. When you're at home, do it. So you work on your stepping, making sure that your stance is always the same. All right? If you have the chance, if not, Try to keep walking back and forward the same way we have been working on today. Next one, we're gonna challenge ourselves one step up, okay? Remembering that basics is the most elemental thing. It is what really makes everything, as your technique improves, your fighting will improve, your kata will improve. Everything will come up nice and even. So, next thing we're gonna work, back to Senkutsu Dachi on Junsuki. All right, we're gonna move back and from here, we're gonna do one and switch, okay? Keeping the hand out the whole time. So with the back, my get it, keeping the body straight up. One, switch. Try to kick the closest you can to your hand. Try not to kick to the side. It's a little difficult when you're holding the punch out, but try to focus on the punch right straight. Again, if you have the room and you wanna give a try, you can add on the moving Yonsuki. All right? As right now, let's try to work in place. So from Musubidachi, step forward with Yonsuki Kamai. Or Nidari no Kamai. Angle, each one, two. As you step, switch. Sun. Cool. If you can, can you come to the side, please? We're gonna do five more. Ready? Ach. Knee. Sun. She. Make sure that when you guys work from home, you are always disciplined with your technique, okay? Whatever we have been doing on today is not going to involve all of your technique. It's not even going to involve all of your testing material. <sighs> Needed to recover for a second. Uh, but make sure that you're very disciplined, okay? It might take you longer time, but it's going to take you a way longer way, okay? It's gonna make you feel that you're actually improving. It doesn't matter if you can follow up into the patterns, but your technique is not clear. So make sure that 
All of those little details that we have been setting down today, you are on them. So when you're working, you're keeping your hand in the middle of your chest, you're rotating your fist, you're working on kime, that explosiveness that your technique receives out of your energy on every single technique that you do at the very end, okay? Shoulders always relax, so your techniques come out uh, nice and quick. And work on all of the pullbacks, all of the stances, everything matters, okay? So don't try to rush through the video or any training that is gonna come in, be coming out this week so we can ke keep uh, track of what we're doing and improve at the same time. Tomorrow, we're gonna work on conditioning material, okay? So as a karate athlete, how should you work if you wanna think of like sparring, speed, all right? Power, strength, endurance. We're gonna work on a lot of those things that are gonna make you faster, better, stronger, and a better fighter. So uh, stay tuned with us and we're gonna keep track on that. Have a good day and at the end, we're gonna patch a little clip of how to stretch properly and have a good day. This one from the side. So you stay. This one from the front so they can see my arms easier. straight. chest mm.
Just knees down. And stretch hip down towards the mat. Last one. One leg up, other leg across. Keeping the knee straight out and bringing the chest up close to your knee. Keeping everything squared up. So you're working on glute. Repeat those routines of stretches twice, and you're gonna be good for the day. Says any, right? Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you.